Okay guys, I'm here today for Luis Panza, a huge honor for me, one of the toughest opponents I ever had in my career. And uh, guys, one of his favorite positions that in my opinion is like the, he's the best one on it is the straight footlock. So that footlock that you can use even when you are blue belt. And uh, we shot an entire structure with him, with Gi. Like, when was that? It was like four or five years ago, right? Where he showed everything about it, but I was not here, so I saw Panza here in the studio today, no Gi, and I was like, man, we cannot miss that opportunity to show the straight footlock. So today he's gonna show us here how he does the straight footlock, and I don't know how many matches I have seen him competing against the best guys in the world and getting everybody with that submission. And even when I used to compete against him, one of my goals was like, I cannot let him get that position. So today we're gonna see here how he does it, and I'm super excited to learn from him. So. All right, so uh, let me show this. Oh, right? That's kind of secret. Huh? Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm glad he's not competing anymore. Right? So the thing is, guys, um, the first thing when I'm on a 50-50, I won't and mostly no gi. I have to be careful. Like I don't like to connect my hands, getting my arm all the way through, because that that's the soft part of your arm, right? So what I need to do, my arm is gonna be pretty much like a little bit of the diagonal, pretty much like in a perpen uh, in a parallel here, okay. And then my blade needs to be getting his muscle off his shin, right? So that's the weakest part of your leg. I know that because I already broke my shin, like it wasn't a, a good experience, but I know that he breaks, you know, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> So it's like the end of the cat and the beginning of the kills here, right? So I will get my blade, get in his muscle up, and then at the same time, I will pinch my elbow on his toes, right? So here, when I get to this part, that's, that's the main thing. As soon as you feel that you have this feeling like on his leg, then you have the adjustment. So my, my hand needs to be on my hip bone, right? That's the most important here. Because I won't need to connect my hands because I don't I don't want to feel stuck. I need my shoulders free to move, right? And then I'll do this, okay? I will keep my hand against my hip bone and then I'll pinch my elbow on his toes. So that's going to be like, if the guy has a flexible foot, probably his shin is not going to be that flexible. Or if he has a, if his foot is not that flexible, right? And then the most important here, I will, I'll get my hip as close as I can from his hip then I will step with my feet together on his chest, right? The way that he's not, uh, I will protect my feet because if my feet are higher on his chest, he won't be able to wrap my feet, right? If I keep my feet closer to his hip, he might defend, he might shoot his leg through, or he might just uh, wrap my foot. And then that's what I don't want to, right? So I'll get my hip closer to his, and then I'll keep the same adjustment here and then I'll step. Now I will extend my whole body, pinching my knees and then I'll extend all the way, like forcing my spine all the way. Let me release his foot the way that I wanna move my hip all the way forward. See where his foot goes? Where he, he, now I'll do the same thing, but with the same adjustment that I, I just told you, right? So I'll keep this pressure here and go. So wait a second, one big surprise here for me. You don't even use your second hand. No, no, it's only it's only one yeah, hand. My, my hand stays on my hip. Oh my god. My elbow here. So that's that's the Let main see, part of it. Your... Here. Okay. Right, you see that my, my yeah. arm is not gonna go all the way through. Because yeah. if I go here, I'll lose all the adjustment. Like it stays it. on the soft part. I suppose like I'm here, and then I connect to my hands. Look, I'll have to lean back. I got it. You know? So that's why. I'll just keep it here. And if my hand's on my hip bone, that means that I have to use my hip to carry on. I got right? it. And then I'll roll. Boom. Oh my God. Like and it hurts my yeah. foot and also hurts yeah, underneath can, my can shin. I, can I squeeze a little bit? Yeah. Here, I'll go like this, like, ah! <laughs> right, yeah, just a, <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's just a, like the way that, because it, it will be against you always mash your toes with my elbow and my blade stays like against your calf. Guys, so look how different is that. He only uses one hand, right? He doesn't even use two hands as everybody does. And he goes against my shin and also against my foot. And then because he's using only one hand, he has a much higher angle to keep attacking my leg than if he was using both hands and getting stuck himself. So 
Did, did you develop that one as well or anyone show you? Man, that was like, cause I used to train. That was a funny story, man. Cause once the guy, that was a guy that I used to train. Like he got me in the foot lock. I was defending and then he squeezed my shin. And I went like, man, let me squeeze this. Squeeze this. It won't be shin. And then it, like two things that for me changed my mind a little bit. Choke on the neck and foot lock on the foot. I got it. It's fast stuff. I got it. Joke is on the face. <laughs> and the foot lock is on the shin. You know? Like, of course, it's, you have the opportunity of tapping, like, open up your neck. But, man, if the guy puts the face on the weight, it's something that I showed a lot on the DVD as well. If you guys want to watch this, you know, I got all the. I got. I, I, yeah, that's funny because I showed, I showed all the levels of the, the rear naked choke. Because you increase the level. Just two of them, so you guys, I want you guys to keep it up. Beautifs is on the neck. It's not beautiful. It's beautiful, right? On the neck, on the on the chin, I won't say. And then going up level by level, here is the raccoon, right? The guashini. You keep the rules <laughs> side to side on the eye, and then becomes the the raccoon rear naked choke. So wait a second, this code was awesome. So like a choke on the neck, foot lock on the foot. No, choke on the face, Good luck on the shin. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's the, the modernity. Welcome yeah. to the modernity. Oh, but, and the instruction that you did today, all about no gi, you showed the foot lock as well. Uh, yeah, 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 a lot, a lot of. Yeah. So guys, uh, we we have two instructions with Panza. One with the gi when he shot like probably like four or five years ago, and we just shot on another one today. All about his nogi game, where he goes through like the the chokes on the neck and on the face, the said <laughs> full locks on the foot and on the shin. So it came out really, really good. So make sure to check that out. It, maybe by the time you are watching, it's already at bggfanatics.com. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much, Panza. Thank you so much. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe, and to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.